Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can click the To Be Printed checkbox on any check that you write within the Write Checks window to save it and print it later on. When you do want to print your checks, just open up the Write Checks window by selecting Banking from the menu bar and then choosing the Write Checks command. To print a single check, simply use the Previous and Next buttons to display the check that you want to print first. Then simply click the Print button in the small toolbar at the top of the Write Checks window in order to display the Print Checks dialog box where you can set the printing options for this check. To print a batch of checks that you have saved and marked as to be printed, just open the Write Checks window and then click the drop down arrow that appears next to the print button in the small toolbar at the top of the window. Select the print batch command from the drop down menu of choices in order to open the select checks to print dialog box. In this dialog box you can remove the check marks from any checks listed that you don't want to print if necessary. Ensure that you also have the correct account selected from the bank account drop down and then enter the first check number to assign to the batch of checks into the first check number text box. Also note you can use the select all and select none options to help you make selections for the checks. Once you have your desired options, click the OK button to continue and open the print checks dialog box. Next, place the paper checks into your printer and set any desired printing option shown in the Print Checks dialog box. This dialog box displays three tabs, Settings, Fonts, and Partial Page. On the Settings tab, use the Printer Name drop-down to select the printer that contains the checks that you are going to print. If needed, use the Printer Type drop-down to select the type of printer that you are using. In the Check Style section, Select the Option button that corresponds to the check style that you will use for printing your checks – Voucher, Standard, or Wallet. To the right of that, you can enter the number of copies of each check to print into the Number of Copies checkbox. You can check the Collate checkbox to ensure that they print collated, and check the Print Company Name and Address checkbox to print your company name and address on the checks if they are not pre-printed and you are using either the voucher or standard check styles. If you want to include a company logo on your checks, then check the Use Logo checkbox. If you have not loaded a logo yet, then click the File button within the Logo dialog box that then appears to browse for the logo file for your checks. The logo file must be of an acceptable type for use within QuickBooks. The accepted types include JPEG, GIF, and bitmap file types. The logo must also be a perfect square, and the smaller the logo file size, the more quickly the logo will be loaded into QuickBooks and printed on your checks. Also note that you can only print your logo on voucher and standard check styles, and that you must be in single user mode in order to load a logo into QuickBooks. Assuming that all of these criteria are met, you can easily load a logo by clicking the File button in the Logo dialog box to open a Open Logo File window, where you can then browse for and then select the logo file to print on your checks. If you selected to print your company's name and address on your checks, then you can click the Fonts tab to set the size and font style to use. You can click the Address Font button to open the Select Address Font dialog box where you can set the font appearance for your company name and address. You can then click the OK button when you're finished to return to the Fonts tab. For multi-page checks, you can print partial pages by using the Partial Page tab to select the envelope loading style used by your printer. You can print partial pages of multi-page checks such as the standard or wallet size by using your printer's envelope feeder. On this tab, simply indicate how that feeder is set up on your printer. Once you've set your desired printing options for your checks, simply click the Print button at the right side of the Print Checks dialog box to print your checks. 
Before printing your checks, note that the total number of checks to print and the total dollar value are displayed at the top of the Print Checks dialog box. This can be a great way to double check yourself before printing your checks. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.